Oh, right, oh, right, oh, right. Hello, people. How are you guys doing? Little guy G here. Welcome back to another Payday 2 video. Now, the first content drop of 2020 is here. Well, the first DLC anyway. And we have not one, not two, not three, but we've got four DLCs to cover. Now, I'm not going to cover all of them in this one video. I am going to make two separate videos. This video is going to be covering the heist and the weapon pack. I'm going to have a separate video for the tailor pack and the weapon skin pack because I have kind of a, a, a bit of an issue with the weapon color pack. So I'm going to save that for another video. But yep, this video I'm going to be just going over the heist and the weapons because the weapons are really cool. And the heist, I'll get my opinions on it in a little bit. I played the heist a couple of times now. I really enjoy it. I still have to stealth it, but I do enjoy it. I think the heist is a really good addition to the game. Uh, and it's fairly priced and to be honest if you're a payday player like me and you just want some new content This will definitely get you back into the game and it'll get you playing for a couple, a couple more hours So yeah without further ado, let's hop in first I'm going to be covering the weapons and then I'm going to cover the high So if you want to skip to just the high still skip to the weapons I'll have some timestamps uh, down below in the description so you can just skip to them But yeah overall let's start with the pistols so the weapon pack for this DLC is the Federalis pack and it contains three pistols and quite a lot of attachments for these pistols that, you know, can change the way you play the game in different styles. So I'm going to show you guys the Bernetti Auto Pistol, the Czech 92 Pistol and the Eagle Automatic Pistol. I'm going to be playing some uh, little clips in the safe house to just see how they fire, how they sound, how they feel. And give you give you a little bit of it and my opinion on each of the weapons. I do have a favourite which I will talk about in a minute and why it's my favourite. Uh, so yeah, overall, all three of these pistols, they're fully automatic pistols. High fire rates, high magazines. And you can customise them more with skills obviously to have higher magazines and higher damage and crit chance. And overall, for if, you, if you guys love pistol builds and you're one of those guys who likes running around... Uh, you know, on a killing frenzy with pistols, then this is definitely the pack for you, and I would highly recommend you pick this pack up, because, to be, on to be honest with you, for £2, you get three pistols, and a bunch of attachments for those pistols, that's a really, really good deal. So, starting off, I'm going to show you guys the Bonetti Auto Pistol. So, the B Bonetti Auto Pistol, they, 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 they're all kind of similar, that's the problem. They all, they're all very similar, but the difference is in damage in magazines and in total ammo. And in terms of ammo as well, the ammo pickup for each of these pistols is superb. And to be honest with you, there's been weapons in the past which literally pick up one piece of ammo or a t like the smallest amount of ammo from so many little ammo packs that drop on the floor from enemies. And th these pistols don't have that problem. They are fair. And when you're using these pistols, uh, if you need ammo, and you can switch them from simps, you know, fully automatic to semi-automatic too. So if you want to conserve ammunition that way, you can. So these pistols give you kind of a freedom to do what you kind of want with them. And to be honest, it's quite neat. And some of these attachments look really cool on the pistols. Especially looking at the Benetti Auto Pistol. There's some really cool barrel attachments that you can put on that pistol. So... Yeah, I'm going to show you guys some gameplay really quick in the safe house just to see how they sound and I'll run through the course a couple of times with them as well. So if you don't if you don't want to see this, you can skip to the heist, but I'm just going to show you guys a bit of gameplay and I will see you guys again when we get to the heist. So catch you in a bit.
Alright, so really quick, whilst the safe house gauntlet's going on, I'm just going to quickly, quickly talk about my experiences with each of these weapons. Starting off with the Benetti. The Benetti pistol has a lot of customization, a lot of attachments for it that you'll be seeing in the gameplay of the bank as well. Uh, I really enjoy the Benetti pistol and I think it is my favourite out of the bunch. It's got a nice ammo capacity, great damage output as well, a uh, great rate of fire and it has plenty of ammo to spare as well. However, the Czech, um, the, what was it, or the CZ, which is it's shortened for, the CZ-72 pistols are really good as well. My least favourite is probably the automatic, the final pistol in this bundle, the Eagle automatic pistol. It has a, a bit of a slower rate of fire and it runs out of ammo way too quickly, but to substitute that, the damage is quite high on the pistol. So, you can kind of take it or leave it, it's a win-win situation, obviously. If you want to substitute ammo for damage, you can. If you want to substitute damage for ammo, you can. Or rate of fire, even. So, it's just your personal preference. I mean, the Eagle automatic pistol can be used uh, in certain situations. It's just down to personal preference. I like higher automatic, you know, firing weapons. I think higher fire rate is more beneficial to a crit build, especially when a crit build requires you to hit a lot more of your targets and you need to be using a lot more of your ammunition too. So having the backup ammunition from ammo packs that you pick up is a lot more beneficial. Also, the Eagle's ammo pickup rate is probably the worst out of the lot from what I've experienced as well due to the substitute of ammo to uh, uh, damage. So, yeah. You can take it or leave it, obviously. That's just my personal opinion. If you love the Eagle, I can see why. I do like it. It's just it's my least favourite. So, other than that, we're going to head over to the Heist now. So, I'll chat about the Heist a little bit. Right, now, moving on to the Big Boy DLC, which is the San Martin Bank Heist. Now, this heist has got a pretty simple, simple basis about it. There's a heist. It's set in Mexico. And we are robbing this 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 bank basically. But the best way I can describe it is it's a bit like Big Bank. It's quite similar to Big Bank, but a lot more smaller down version of Big Bank. There's a lot of nods to it, like the 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 beast drill makes a return as well to break into the vault. So there's a little few nods to Big Bank. Uh, the music, the soundtrack in this house is really really good. Uh, it's it's awesome. It's the back uh, the backdrop uh, sound in this video actually. So if you can hear the music in the background, that's the heist music that gets played. Uh, but yeah, really awesome soundtrack. Really really cool aesthetic of the map. Obviously it's set in Mexico. There's a fun little uh, there's a fun little mariachi band as well that plays outside the bank, which I thought was really funny. And if you there's a, <laughs> there's an option in the pre planning to make them into a drunk mariachi band. So that's actually quite funny. And they just play really awfully. So have fun with that if you like and discover that yourself because it's really really funny but other than that the heist itself is good it's not anything special in a way but at the same time it does enough it's a bit like the border heist right the border the, the border heist you started in one part of the map and then you transport yourself into another part of the map which is quite unique not really seen that before so I quite enjoyed the border heist that way this heist is a lot smaller uh, for me though there is a massive downside and for me personally it's optimization the game engine is just not keeping up with everything they're trying to put in. They're trying to they're clearly trying to put in more textures, more particle effects and there's new um this uh was it with the cops, the units actually. They are customized specifically for this map, I believe, as well. So because it's the Mexican army you're dealing with, not the American army. Whatever. Point is, is that all of that needs to get rendered into the map. And it puts a lot of stress on the game engine, and I don't think the game engine can properly handle it. There are some times that it is running good, but for me personally, I wasn't having the greatest in terms of performance. I was dropping a lot of frames, especially when I was on the outside of the bank looking into it, because it's trying to render everything in the bank. But once you're in the bank, it seems to be fine. Like I didn't really see many frame drops. If there's a few drops in the video here and there, you'll prob that, that's probably you know what I've experienced as well. So... Other than that, the heist uh, is pretty good, it's standard, really good, but all you have to do is go in, break into a vault, get out, there's a lot of varieties on how you can escape as well. I mentioned earlier you can stealth this heist, I still have yet to do that, but the stealth in this, well, from what I've heard, is really, really good and really, really challenging as well, a bit like Big Bank as well, so I'm looking forward to, to stealthing it and hopefully if, if I have the time because I've been busy I can stealth it for you a lot, so... 
yeah, that sums up the heist in a nutshell, really. Uh, and the weapons as well. The weapons are really, really good. Uh, and so, yeah. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you lot in the next video that I do. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.